Hello, today we're doing another practical, not a required one for AQA this time, but just uh, interesting investigation. We're going to look at factors affecting enzyme activity again, but this time we'll be looking at temperature. And to help us out, we're going to be using enzymes found in celery, um, and the enzyme is called catalase. So just as a reminder, I'm going to leave this here for you to see. Um, the enzyme is called catalase. Our substrate is hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to be wearing my goggles in a bit. And when those two combine, they create oxygen gas. Woo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and measure that oxygen gas being produced. How are we going to do that? We're going to use water displacement. So a bit of fancy glassware. I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to talk you through the whole process. Right, so what we've got here, three pieces of celery, I've tried, I'll weight, I'll weight them out, same mass, and uh, I'm going to cut them up into, I can try to, it's quite a crude experiment to this, but I'll try and cut them up to the same sort of surface area, so enough similar bits of celery are exposed to the solution. So I'm just going to give that a go first. So now I have three bits of celery ready to go. I will now put, I'm going to start with three, three temperatures. Oh, table, table, table. Oh. Okay. I'm going to have three different temperatures. One is at room temperature, one will be a cold one, and one will be a hot one. Now, I don't, I haven't written them down yet because of the fact that I'm going to measure them and do them uh, on, the, on the fly. Now, how do we calculate how do we capture the oxygen? We're going to use um, water displacement, which means I'm going to fill this tube up with oxygen. As you can see, it is graduated to a certain extent. We have some arbitrary units up. I'm going to say they are centimeters cubed. They're not quite. We could be more accurate by using a gas syringe, but you know, make it simple. Okay, so we're going to fill this up with water. Hope this works. I hope you can see that. Yeah. And then we're going to use this YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Because we're on YouTube. <laughs> going to rest that there for now. It's totally filled with water. As gas come, is made from there, it will travel along the tube and force out any water that's in there. Quite a simple, elegant experiment, actually. Right. So this is at room temperature. And that is at 19 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to put 19 there because I know I deal with a bit of a perfectionist would do the, four, the, the colder one first and along the lines, but you know, for the purposes of video, I'm going to speed this along a bit. So at 19 degrees, room temperature, I'm going to use the same volume of hydrogen peroxide the whole way through. I am looking for my goggles. Let's put this right. I'm going to use equal volumes of hydrogen peroxide the whole way through just to make sure that that's a controlled variable. To cover that, I'm going to use 20 milliliters. So, the moment I get that, put that on straight on. Bound with the stopwatch. Ready, steady, and go. Stopwatch. And time. So you can see bubbles are now coming out. I don't know whether the high definitionness of this video will be visible or not, but as you can see, bubbles are coming through already and pushing that liquid down. Can you see that without my fingers there? Yeah, right? Let me turn that boiling cube to the side. Look at that. Let's not shake it so much because then I'll be introducing a different variable. So that's how much gas was released from that one. I will say it is 10.7. So that's that one done.
So now I've got a water bath of hot water. I'm going to put the thermometer in, then allow the um, celery to acclimatize. I'm also going to put some hydrogen peroxide in, so it's also roughly of the same temperature. Didn't really think this through. Yeah, look at that. Okay, just gonna leave that a few minutes to settle. Right back. So enough time has elapsed, they have acclimatized. I'm now going to put the hydrogen peroxide straight onto the celery at 38 degrees. And then we'll see what happens. We're gonna keep them in this temperature to ensure the best possible outcome. Straight onto there. As you can see, the bubbles are much more violent than that, and the fizzing is much greater. As you can see here, the bubbles are much more, can you see the bubbles going? Yeah, right, yeah, much quicker. A few minutes to acclimatize and we'll see what the temperature drops to. This is from the cold water tank. Okay, so we have our temperature of 8 degrees, cold water bath, I have celery, I have hydrogen peroxide, do the setup again, water, YouTube, you just in there like so. Mix the two, straight on, we've got, start the timer. And we wait. And there we have it. Voila. And now we graph it. <laughs> 